This backdrop behind me is completely fake and it actually looks like this. So if you're looking to upgrade your filming setup or you want to replace it with something completely new, start by recording a video in your regular environment, but before you're finished, take a still image of your backdrop without you sitting in it. And then upload that still image to ChatGPT 4.0. And you now just need to tell the AI exactly what you want to change about your background. The more detailed you can be, the better. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to fill these shelves behind me with lots of books. I want to add a green plant behind me and I also want to replace this black and white painting with a window that has a city view. So I'm just going to add all of that into the AI and as you can see it's done a pretty good job of putting that together. You can also generate a filming setup from scratch so say I want to see an old Victorian mansion with mahogany wood all around and I want some candle lights in the background. You could do that too. There you have it. So you now have a background image that you can use as is, but for extra realism, I want to animate mine as well. To do that, I just need to upload my background image to Kling and ask the AI to animate the clouds outside the window. And I'm also gonna make sure that I ask for a 10 second version to use in my background. And as you can see, in just a few minutes, we have something to use. So next, I'm gonna bring it all together using Veed. I'll start by importing my original video with the original background. And then in the Magic Tools menu, I'm gonna hit Remove Background. And in just a few seconds, I'm left with my talking head without anything behind me. I'm now gonna upload my background animation. And once it's in the timeline, I'm gonna drag it underneath my main recording. And if there's black bars on either side like this, I'm just gonna drag the image like so to make sure it fits the entire frame. And one thing I like to do for extra realism is select my background image, go to the adjust menu at the top of the screen and add 1% of blur to my backdrop. So there you have it. I've now got a brand new backdrop in less than five minutes. And if you want to learn how to replace any green screen background, you should watch this video next.